Hi everybody, it's Coach Ali and today we're going to continue to the next day of our 30 days body transformation series for beginners. Be sure to have your yoga band and some clear space around you free from trip hazards. Let's get started with the workout. This low impact cardio exercise is called fast feet. Your weight should be at the ball of your feet, leaning forward slightly to create a heavy base and you can alternate your fast feet with good pace this way. Let's get you guys to have a go. This exercise is basic squats. You can see that I'm starting with my feet parallel at shoulder width to really focus on the lower quads. If you have trouble with your knees, you can always turn your feet and knees out 45 degrees to take the focus off your lower quads and activate your glutes and hamstrings. For progression, simply place the yoga bands under your feet and hold them with your hands to create artificial resistance. Same arm motion as before will help you with balance and momentum. Your turn to try it. This exercise is T-circles from a sumo squat. First drop into your sumo squat by turning your toes out and widening your stance before getting into the static squat base. Then push out to either side with the palm of your hands and start creating small controlled circles. For progression, hold on to the yoga bands with your hands to create extra resistance for your shoulders. Keep the same form and circular momentum with static squat base. Try this one. For this exercise, we're marching on the spot with high knees and good pace. Make sure you land gently to keep any unwanted joint impact off your knees and your hips. Use your arms to create momentum and speed and let's keep marching for the duration of your minute. Your turn.
This exercise is static foot lunge, which is lunges on the spot without taking any steps back or forth. Just switching between high lunge and low lunge positions to work on the front leg quads and the back leg glutes. Make sure your lunge is relatively lengthy and maintain a vertical spine. For progression, you can place the yoga band beneath your front foot and hold it with your hands for extra resistance. Let's do a set with each leg in front and work both legs equally. Have a go. Thruster using your yoga bands for this exercise. This is simply a squat that works its way up into a shoulder press. Drop into your squat with legs at shoulder width, neutral spine and steady control. While it's natural to lean forward slightly for balance, I want you to try and keep your upper body as vertical as you can. For progression, simply hold onto the bands tighter and create more resistance. Have a go at this one. This exercise is basic isometric squat. You can see that I'm starting with feet parallel at shoulder width to really focus on the lower quads. If you have trouble with your knees, then you can always turn your feet and knees 45 degrees outwards to take the focus off your lower quads and activate your glutes and hamstrings. Hold this position for the duration of your minute. For progression, simply place the yoga band under your feet and hold them with your hands to create artificial resistance. Arms in front of you will help you with balance and momentum, as well as bonus core activation. Your turn.
this exercise is a low joint impact cardio version of some side squats. We're simply bending one knee while straightening the other one. So placing all of the weight on one leg and then the other. Make sure your stance is wide enough to get a good stretch in your adductors inside your legs. If your knees are bothering you, then you can always point your toes and knees outwards to release some of the pressure. Your turn to have a go. This exercise is wide arm push-ups from your knees, keeping your hands nice and wide to properly engage your chest. Make sure that you keep a straight line from your knees to your shoulders and engage your core to protect your back. No dipping of your hips. As progression to this exercise, you can do the push-ups on your toes with your knees nice and straight. To progress even further, you can wrap your yoga band around you, holding the ends with your hands to create additional resistance Let's have you try this exercise. This exercise is side knee drops. Start lying on your back with your lower back pinned against the floor and legs in tabletop. Arms are straight in a crucifix, pressing into the floor for support. We want rotation of the thighs in a semicircular motion, engaging your abs and your obliques. For a more challenging progression, you can always switch to side leg drops with straight legs. This will make the exercise more core engaging and harder to control. Have a go for yourself. This exercise is wide arm plank or crab plank if you like from your knees, keeping your hands nice and wide to properly engage your chest and abs. Make sure that you keep a straight line from your knees to your shoulders and engage your core by tucking your tailbone in. No dipping of your hips or pushing out of your tailbone. As progression to this exercise, you can do the crab plank on your toes with your knees nice and straight. Stay nice and low with a straight horizontal line from your chest all the way to your ankle. 
Let's have you try this exercise. This exercise is abs crunch. Start lying down facing up with your knees bent and your feet flat. Place your hands behind your head for support, but make sure that there's a straight line from elbow to elbow and make sure that they don't wrap around your head. Keep your eyes on the ceiling above you and don't try to look at your knees. This will protect your neck during your crunches. To progress to a more advanced level, let's simply add a pulse at the top of the abs crunch. This forces you to get to the abdominal flexion twice. Let's get you to have a go at it. This exercise is traditional prone plank. With soft straight vertical arms, lift your body weight up until you have a straight line from your ankle all the way to your shoulders. Keep your tailbone tucked in to engage your abs and disallow any tension in your back. No dipping of your hips. For progress, you can wrap the yoga band around your back and shoulders, holding the ends tight with your hands to create additional resistance. Your turn to have a go at this one. This exercise is glutes bridge, so start lying on the floor facing up with your feet flat on the floor at shoulder width. Let's lift your hips up by pushing down on the heels of your feet until you reach a straight line from your shoulders up to your knees. Slow steady repetitions focusing on the back of the legs, your butt and your lower back. For progression you can hold the yoga band with each hand allowing it to create resistance over your hips. It's your turn to try this exercise.
This exercise is seated alternate leg raise. This is a great upper quad hips and lower abs activator, particularly for beginners. One leg rests while the other leg is lifting up in front of you. For progression, you can lift both legs together, which requires a lot more core strength. Try not to lean back more than what's necessary to get through the exercise. Your turn to have a go at this one. Well done for getting through your workout and progressing through this series, guys. Now, if you've finished training for today and you wanna stretch and cool down, then simply click here. Alternatively, if you want to work your way through to the next day's workout, then just click here. See you again very soon.